أكون ترامب ويقيموا بيدرس في جامعة سياتل في أمريكا وهو حصل على درجة البكالوريوس في هندسة الكيمياء سنة 2000 من جامعة يو سي ال اي بعد التخرج على طول سنة 2000 انضم لجامعة الجزيرة ومن هنا بدأ يتحول من الكارير بتاعه يعني في الدراسة بتاعته بعد ما كانت هندسة وكيمياء توجه للفن وحصل على درجة الماجستير في الرسم والتصوير من معهد بريت في نيويورك وكمان حصل على درجة دبليو الماجستير في اللاهوت من مدرسة الجزيرة لدراسة اليهود في نيويورك ودي أول مرة طبعا زي ما قلت لكم هو بيكون فيها مصر وهو مقدم لنا هنا 14 لوحة وهو يتكلم عنهم ومعانا دايرة فراتير هي هتترجم Good evening. Thank you for being here. My name is Trung Pham. I'm a Jesuit artist and I live and work in Seattle. I teach at Seattle University in Washington State of the United States. I'm Trung Pham. I'm a Vietnamese and I'm a Vietnamese. I'm a I'm here to do an artist in residency program from the from the cultural center. So I have been here for two weeks and I have made a series of paintings, 14 abstract paintings. And these paintings are called stations. A station is a series of abstract paintings, and I use abstract <coughs> genre because it's the most direct communication up to your experience. So instead of using images like figure, figuratives, or landscape uh, objects, I use color and texture to, to portray my experience. So you will see these 14 paintings deal with abstract, with colors and texture only. And sometimes that colors and texture can, can touch you deeply without words. So let the painting speak for itself to, to your soul. And my experience that I want to communicate is the refugee experience. So I was born in Vietnam and I came to the United States when I was 18 years old. And my father was in the prison for seven years after the Vietnam War. So we were able to come to the United States because of the sponsorship of the U.S. government. And being a refugee is not easy. I have to struggle, or we all have to struggle with life, with joy and pain and sufferings and opportunity. It's a mix that of very rich experience. Uh, 
and I want to paint these paintings because at this point, immigration is a very important issue that we deal with in our uh, life right now in the world. So being a refugee is, is, is you become a very you start from zero. It, is, it seems like everything is put out on our feet, so we have to start from zero and also we are being wounded, we emotionally we are wounded. We come to different culture, we learn different language, we learn different uh, meet the people and we, we, we have no power. So in this show, you have two things you be able to see. First is the 3D object. And it's all about chair. And I use, I designed it on the computer, and I let the three D printer print it. It's painting with uh, oil. So remember, I talk about how. Being a refugee is being marginalized. You, you have no power. And the experience can be very painful and joyful at the same time. So these paintings will describe that experience for you. Where is the sculpture, the miniature chair? It's the symbol for power. Because the king would sit on a different chair, and the king would sit in a different chair, and the people who are rich would sit in a different chair. So the chair for me is a symbol of power. <laughs> So when you put these things together, it will be like an immigrant or a refugee who are very vulnerable with their own journey, have to face a different kind of power in the world. People make decisions for them. They could not earn or could not have their own power to to direct the life, they have to rely on our system to live to be thrive. So you have an internal world and you have the external world. And I hope these two uh, series will help you to think about what's going on in, in our life right now. By opening up the vulnerability, showing the vulnerability of the human being like through these paintings, I hope that it will share the compassion among us. This is not just my own experience, it's also many other people also experience it, and I hope by understanding these experiences and the forces that shape this experience, we are able to grow together and to develop a humane world. So I hope my work contributes to the conversation that we're facing at this point.
فهو يعني بيعمل بيتمنى ان هو التعبان بتاعته تعبر عن بيحصل في الوقت My boss immediately um, experienced President Trump yesterday or two days ago issued a legislation or uh, uh, asked the Congress to remove the Vietnamese refugee come to the United States after 1995. I came to United States in 1990, so I was not in that group that they they were uh, important. But I feel that it's my responsibility to speak out that this is not a, a, a humane way to treat our people, uh, especially Vietnamese uh, refugees. Well, why is it that you study about and the media no way at all about your opinion in the day and the day of the day? And I hope this particular, my specific particular experience, also uh, be part of your. Daily life experience, and I hope this will open up conversation and help us to live together. Thank you for being here. I'm very happy that I share this with you.